Hello everyone, a quick video this time. We were walking over to the British Columbia Museum and found some impressive totem poles in an area called Thunderbird Park on the corner of Belleville and Douglas Streets next to the museum. As I understand, most of the totem poles in the park are replicas of originals that stood there, except for two which I was not able to discover as I walked through that day. The originals themselves have since been moved to an area inside the museum. These totem poles mostly represent First Nations people of the Pacific Northwest Coast area of British Columbia and the park itself was opened in 1941. Thunderbird was used for the park as it is an important being within Indigenous cultures and is depicted on many totem poles. Totem poles serve as important carvings mostly out of red cedar which display family lineages and the cultural heritage of Indigenous people of the Pacific Northwest. They can be up to 18 meters tall and include many cultural representations which may include animals, humans, plants, insects or supernatural beings such as Thunderbird as well as many others. The meanings may vary significantly but they may commemorate important ancestors, cultural beliefs, legends and other notable events but also may be found within a building's architecture or serve as welcome signs for visitors. But as mentioned, each totem pole can have complex symbolic meanings that sometimes can only be known to the carver or the culture or village in which they were found. Most of the totem poles seen today are relatively recent, with few before 1900 remaining. This is due to the region's climate and the type of materials used, with few lasting more than 60 to 80 years. It should be said, however, that there was a decline in the creation of totem poles between 1900 and the 1930s, largely due to the outlawing of traditional Indigenous practices. A quick synopsis on this important heritage. Hope you enjoyed this video. More videos are coming soon.